All right, thanks for coming over to Bridge Cable on one of our video channels. Um, here we're going to be going and reviewing a network cable into a patch panel uh, or various other uh, devices. Uh, not devices, but uh, connection points. So basically, you know, obviously you're going to take this cable and you're plugging it into the back of your computer, laptop, whatever the case, uh, printer. Uh, basically in a data center or a wiring closet or wherever your computer center is you're gonna have something that looks like this you're gonna have a patch panel and what that basically does is it, it attaches your computer we're just gonna say there's a computer and snakes all the way down through the floors across the hallway wherever it goes and then it will go into your computer room where your uh, servers are or your wiring closet. And typically what happens is, is just this wire goes in the back and that's your connection point. And then you're going to have uh, these front inputs going straight to your server. So you'll just have a cable going over to your server, excuse me, your, um, your router or your hub or your switch, various different things. And then on the front of that, you're just going to have a patch cable. Generally, a patch cable is uh, about six feet away. So you'll have something along the lines of this, and then you'll have it going into a switch, hub, repeater, various different things. But generally, people will put it into a hub. So this, the patch panel is actually where your computer and the server or the data center, whatever the case may be, is the connection. So a lot of times, people just, uh, think it's just two cables plugged in the, to a server and a computer, but no, obviously when you have various different things, you're going to be plugged into that. Uh, so a lot of times in wiring closets, you're gonna see this, so if you ever see that, it basically looks like a telephone jack. Now this is just a 12 porter, and uh, this is just one of these, you know, smaller ones. Generally we'll work on a 24 port uh, patch panel. So, but if you're ever in your wiring closets or if you're in a factory floor and you see one of these guys you can see what's going on and it's usually wall mounted uh, vertical or horizontal uh, what I wanted to show you is on the back of these guys these are all the connections um, now with anything and we won't get too technical with this but there's different wiring solutions generally you either go one way or another generally and many of the technicians they'll understand this with the pinouts it's t 56 8 a or b and once again we'll just take a look at that on the back there t 5 6 8 b or a so i'm not going to spend a whole lot of time doing this but what i want people to do is when they're first initially doing their own cabling or anything